Boom, baby, Steve back again with another great video. If you've been uh, trying to figure out how to create a landing page with a good form on it, that's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you guys how I use Typeform to set up my forms. This is a BA form that I'm gonna show you right now. Um, look, I, I generate over 595 responses with this form. Uh, Typeform is a really smooth uh, form creation tool, okay? I highly recommend it. And then you take that form and you embed it into your landing page, right? So if you have a landing page builder, you're just gonna get some code from here and you're gonna stick it over into the landing page. Really easy, it gives you uh, instructions on how to do it. Very simple to do but then it makes it so that when people hit your form, it's a really smooth experience. So let's, I'm gonna, uh, I don't wanna go into the main one cause I'm afraid I might screw it up. So let's go into the copy that I just made. Um, all right, so these are like the different steps over here, the different questions that they'll hit along the left. Um, here you have the little start button, get 500 off closing costs, click start below to lock in your savings. I made this for a branch at Geneva who uh, enrolls in the Homes for Heroes program, which is for like veterans, uh, emergency workers, stuff like that. Um, let's do the preview. And see, look, it, it comes also out really nice on mobile phones. And that's the key. Most people are going to be on their mobile phone when they are um, filling this out. So that's really important. When you design it, you always want to design it so it's um, compatible with mobile. In fact, that's your main priority. All right, so start. Um, Steve is the best at bomb.com. Okay. All right. See how it just slid right in there really nicely. That is the, the nice part about type form. So now watch, it has an okay button down here, but I can just select something here and look, it automatically just goes through. I, I don't even have to click on the okay button, right? Pull cash out. Hopefully if it's VA cash out, you're doing good, right? That's what we all want. Um, credit question it's important now this would obviously this is bigger because i'm on a desktop but you know it, on your phone it would look nice you always want to use drop down menus uh because people will type in all types of stuff if you don't it's one thing i've learned over the years right so any type of like numerical or address well i guess not address you're gonna have to let them type that in but as many things as you can make a drop down do it make it into a drop down to take uh their human error out of the way, right? Um, mortgage marketing, no. VA loan leads expert, sounds about right today. Let's hit okay. Street address, one, two, three. Leads, I got your leads drive um city miami soon state let's go to florida baby zip God, what was my old zip in florida three four two oh one was that right i don't know maybe date of birth Is that my year of birth? I don't know. Uh, phone number, right? You've been qualified. Look, you've been qualified. Type in your phone number to secure your $500 off and get a free quote, right? I'm always putting this, these little like language things in here to, to get people, <laughs> look, it even can tell that I put in a fake number. What if I change it to that? Wow, it really knows what's up. That's wild. I actually didn't even know that, but I'm glad. Let's try that. Okay, thanks, you're all set. Call us now, speak with a loan officer. And uh, and then at the bottom, also key thing right here, right? The loan application link right there. So if somebody were to click this, it would take them right to the loan application. All right, so I, would, I took this form. I don't know if I still can access. So here it is, I, I own getrefiquote.com, Homes for Heroes, accept all cookies. Oh, I guess do I have to log into this? Uh-oh. Maybe it's not going to let me, maybe it's not going to let me do it. Can't ask until its creator says so. Maybe I needed to, um, 
Maybe I need to activate it. Oh, maybe publish it or something. Let's see. So that way you guys can see how it looks on the page. Boom. Probably gotta hit publish. Maybe publish. Oh, yeah, I don't use this anymore. Preview, no. I just gotta publish. Upgrade the plan. Well, whatever, you get the point. Um, this was the page, so that form would slide right in right here. And then, uh, you know, I put there like BBB, A plus rating. You know, these are, these are trust logos, right? You want those near where they're gonna be clicking like the next button or submit button, right? Typical language associated with any type of like mortgage advertisement right here. Um, conditions to the offer below. Uh, privacy notice, I actually wrote this myself. I took some other ones, combined them, um, but that took forever. This is like really long. You've even got a section for California because you have to have that. Um, it's got the link to the NMLS consumer access. So it's pretty official, right? It took me a long time to make this, but now I have like a template I can use anytime in the future. So my point being, if you need a hot landing form, <laughs> landing form, landing page like this with a type form built into it, and you could even ask questions on the type form where it will like take you down one road or another, right? Oh, you're going to buy a home? Let's ask these questions. Or, oh, you want to refinance? Let's ask them these ones. Oh, you want cash out? Well, let's make sure we also ask how much cash out, right? So I just want to show off um, type form, how cool it is today. I think I could also show you some stuff in here. So insights. Yeah, yeah, insights. Here we go. So um, completion rate. 47.3% off the charts. Time to complete, under five minutes, right? You want it definitely under five minutes. Um, so that was a good thing. This is These are really good numbers. And they, if, you, if this part was active right here, um, basically what you can see is after each question, how many people will fall off? So let's say you're asking for a social security number. There might be like half the people falling off. This, is, this section would show you that, okay? I'm not gonna reactivate it right now because I'm not using it. But if somebody wants me to make them a type form, I'll do it. So my number is 503-551-8690, or you can email me at steve at getmib.com or steve at gozoomloans.com. Uh, let me know if you got questions or if you need help with a type form or uh, anything else relating to online marketing, because I can do it all. <laughs>